Green Power is an educational platform that allows young people to put their creative and engineering abilities to the test by designing, creating and racing battery-powered cars. Green Power hopes to inspire innovation and sustainability for future generations. At BGS in T4, a design and technology workshop is where the true essence of Green Power can be found. We first started Green Power at Bristol Grammar School back in 2008 and quickly learned how valuable it was uh, for students to become independent and confident about making decisions which relate to engineering. I think it's given me more of an insight into actual practical applications of the stuff I'm learning in sciences and I've sort of really been able to learn more about engineering and also have a lot of fun and I think to see that it's a lot of fun to do engineering stuff is something that's really important. Um, well, we're also in the team, we're all like, we all work towards the same thing, so it's, it's we all work to um, just bring it all together. So we have people often working on separate projects like um, CAD design um, and uh, working with the electronics um, and sometimes I work on some product design things. But, um, yeah, it's, it's all a common objective of making sure the car works and it doesn't crash in day and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all the team working, the teamwork thing, so, yeah. On the day, it's very fun, actually. We all get up at very early times, get to the place, start the base camp, do our normal routine stuff, have fun, and get out and practice laps that everyone, even if they're not the drivers, can have a turn in the car. Racing at Green Power is basically the most amount of distance covered in a set period of time. What is it like to be a driver? Driving is very fun in Green Power because you're always well part of a team even though it's just you in the car. It's because everyone's built the car, you feel safe within the car that it's not going to crash. Well, in Green Power I help uh, just assist the children generally, advise them on criteria, uh, help them build the car, transport them to locations, and uh, it's all very enjoyable, good feedback. Our first car was the kit car. It was uh, a steel framed chassis which we covered with uh, various different materials, plywoods and certain composites to create a reasonably robust and aesthetic looking car. Uh, it had the styling of a Ferrari Testarossa, uh, which was something the students at that time thought would make uh, a significant difference to the way that it would run. We very quickly learnt that aesthetics had very little to do with the performance of the car and the advantages were in the aerodynamics as opposed to the aesthetics. So it was a very steep learning curve but we still had a lot of success in that very first season of racing. We then developed Sub-Zero, Gigazord, Terrazord. The ideas of the students have been the most important aspect of Green Power for me. We diplomatically work out what works well, what we can try, what we can experiment with and I believe we've probably created more prototype parts than, than most of our competitors in order to establish if a, an idea has the possibility to work or not. I'm very proud of the fact that we're building our new car, uh, yet to be named, just using an older technology than the composites that we've previously explored and 
You can see some of it behind me. It's made from, uh, from wood, which is more recyclable than the composites and some of the metals and plastics that we've previously engineered. And I'm hoping that we can prove that using modern composites is not always the ultimate solution. So that when the air comes off the wheel, it will be streamlined. Yeah. Uh, that's very interesting. We manufactured these slides in the car that can slot into these holes in the base of the chassis. And then um, we just need to assemble them. But we still need to have designed, but we still need to manufacture the uh, subframes of the car. Instead of spokes, we have. Uh, resin foam um, mixed and then a plated with carbon fibre so there's no uh, wind going through that and it's very light and there won't be any um, yeah there just won't be any other reason for drag to get past um, Greenbar has a really good community atmosphere everybody wants to work together from the lower years all the way through to the other six. Everybody collaborates really well with each other and it's always a really enthusiastic environment. So it's an exciting year, we've got a lot of work to do, but I think we've all got a tremendous amount uh, to look forward to.